Hey, folks. Okay, so, Miranda. Here we go. So, uh, I'm going to do the Overland thing again, which always takes a little bit more time, but is kind of more open than the other way. I, I always enjoy doing the Overland thing. You know, just switch it up sometimes, and it's maybe a little less dangerous, just in general. It's just maybe a little less eventful. It tends to be. But that's fine. You know? The priority right now is, you know? This character may live for a bit. And not die immediately like the last two. So, if we can manage that, I'm happy. So, let's start earning some early experience. And yeah, we're going to take the normal way into Red Rock. That means we're going to go to the entrance and we're going to go down that dungeon. And hopefully not get killed on the way. Oops, I feel like a I feel a sneeze coming on. Oh. I might sound a little weird. For the time being. No, oh, I think it's leaving again. It's always so unsatisfying. When that happens. Okay. So we're gonna make our way towards the the desert canyons. Um just to kill a bunch of snap jaws, maybe get up to level five or something. Slimy water vine marsh. I'm going to pass through this rather quickly, yes, because there's an amoeba. And these amoebas aren't all that fun to fight at this stage. So I mean I'm probably going to meet another one here. Web toad snapjaw, I think that's the special the special snapjaw thing in the in the in the slime areas. In tarry areas you get the Kindle thumbed guys. That's not fun. Okay, iron short sword, we're going to equip that in our main hand. Uh well, that's a wooden buckler actually, but I don't really want to decrease my dot value. So Let's not do that for now, but let's rest up. Okay, there's a guy over there. One of these Snapjaw Warlords. They're actually kind of unpleasant. Level 3, good. Iron Mace, Torch, and nothing more. I was naked in the slime with an Iron Mace. And a torch. Don't know what he was doing. Sturdy pocketed vest. That probably sells well. And let's equip that thing into our left hand. A bloody iron short sword. Okay, now seed spitting vine that I want to avoid while killing the chameleon. Freeze that seed spitting line and uh, continue. Oh, these new, the new sprite for the new tile for the star apples. Oh, not the star apples, the star apple tree. Ah, it, look, it just looks gnarly, you know. Like it's that thing over here. Look at that. Like, I would stay far from that much less harvesting apples from it. Oh, I also did not increase my mutation, so let's do that again. And let's increase our agility. Okay. Hobble pointed circle. 
Yeah. Yeah. Tinkering. You know what? Let's get disassembled for now. It's going to be a bit one before bows and rifles becomes really viable, so it's okay. We can get that on the next turn. Or on the next level up. Also, let's disassemble all the crap that we have. And it's a lot of crap. Or rather, scrap. Corroded circuit board. Cracked lens and a few fractured microchips. Alright. Also, we can take apart that plastic tree. And a scrap crystal out of it. As far as I know, that's the only use for the plastic tree. At least I've never found any any anything else. Can take it apart, but it doesn't doesn't even count as an artifact. Mm, be the bracelet. That one's going to come straight with me. Our dagger. Well, that's okay. Yeah, I'm just going to roam through the desert canyons for a bit and uh, see what we find. Okay, then we get into tortoise territory. So, let's freeze that thing for a bit. And was killed by a young ivory. Oh dear. <laughs> well, that cost me... that cost me a bunch of experience. I am cross with that young ivory. Well, at least there's a two-headed boar. That's hopefully not going to run into a young ivory. So, one more turn and freeze it again. Freeze it. Freeze and dead. All right, good. Salamander. A lot of salamander have, salamanders have been killed over there. Let's do a fun bit of freezing here, and we are now level 4. So, let's get bow and rifle now. And, uh, you know, butchery should also come at some point. Anything happening? Slumberling falls asleep? Okay. Ah, just got a snap job fort. I don't know what was going on here. But yeah, now we know it's a uh, settlement. Which is good. Oh dear. There is this guy. Rings. Once you get them cold, you can actually keep them stuck for a while. That's always good. It's sort of a ruins-ish area. There are bananas in here. Hmm. Um, this is kind of a ruins-ish area, but with... Uh, but with a snapjaw fort adjacent to it. Interesting. There are banana trees. They are rare in these areas. Oh dear. Two tortoises. Two tortoises. Tortoises. Free freeze. Yeah. Okay. Good. Game. Please. Oh, who isn't building properly? Yeah, do that. I guess. What zone were you building? Right in the midst of battle. Something weird going on. That's actually... that has actually become more prevalent recently. I haven't had these... these errors that much. Yakweed stem. Uh, let's get that. Oh ho. Are you... Hostile. But what are you doing here? Huh. 
Oh, 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 yeah. It's apparently a mind guy. You know what? It's not moving, so... Oh, yeah, that's the... Is it affected by the classic Snapjaw Fort bug of enemies not moving? Not bug. Maybe it's a feature. I don't know. It seems to. Okay. It was attacking me with, like, a temporal vortex. So let's leave that guy over there for a bit. Steel cookery. That's good. Equip that, and let's equip the leather boots. Gives us a bit of armor. For now. Now you are moving. Masterwork short bow. Equip that for now. We don't really have any other... Don't we? No. We only have short bows. Oh yeah, right. Grazing hedonists. Let's entangle the text. Miranda began, became admired by grazing hedonists for reprogramming their least favorite robot. And uh, our reputation went up. Yeah, right, we started with that. Forgot about it. Weird artifact, EMP. And another steel cookery, good. So, let's get that there. Yeah, we have steel equipment now, which is fine. At this stage. Our strength is pretty abysmal, so won't do us much good, but, uh, you know. All right. Eat some more mystery meat. And, uh, yeah. Willowy steel cookery that doesn't weigh anything. Okay, that's why it was auto-picked up. Because it has zero. It has a... Uh, no, it has a weight of zero. Where is the... Oh. Okay. The salt hopper was fighting a, an Equimax there. Which it obviously did not survive. That was bound to happen there. Alright. Wooden tunic cracked. Why? Because we had a staff that can crack things. Ball skin gloves, desert crease, okay. Hmm, cloth overalls. Uh huh. Okay, well. Snapjaw brute. Okay. Okay, there's another salt hopper, and I'm actually hurt a bit. So let's freeze that thing. Four more turns. Boom, boom. Killed level five. All right. Good. So let's see. Oh, I forgot putting in my mutation points. I'm a numbskull. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's get butchery. I'm gonna not do much more here. Tinkering. Yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> All right. Engraved Iron Dagger. Bronze Dagger and Iron Dagger. Interesting. So, let's get that. Oh! Yep. We have a new quest, but we don't know where that is. Alright. Told us something about a... whatever neighborhood. And, yeah. Let the butchering begin. We should be north of the the Red Rock Plains. So, it's a ton of snap jaws. Yeah, now fighting them actually does not do much anymore. 
Also, we should actually have... Uh, can't actually tell because of analgesia, but uh, because our... Because our... Um, fractured microchip, okay. Because our... Toughness is no slouch. We should actually have a bit of health by now. Not a lot, not by any shot, but at least not uh, completely frail as we were at the start. What's going on here? Oh, there's a bunch of sap that has been spilled. But, oh, white brimmed head, good. But what has been. Yeah, someone lacerated a plant, <laughs> which is. Weird sentence to say, but that's what has happened. Okay. Alright. Destroy that vine. Mm hmm. Engraved short bow. Cool. More salt in history. Okay. Plains to the south? Yes, indeed. I'm gonna stay up here for a bit. No more Desert Canyon as a two-headed ball. As long as it is no slug snout, we are okay. Ah, oh, the salamander killed the tortoise. There's a lot of tortoises around. No boss. Doesn't seem like it. Just a ton of tortoises, Jesus. They're all slowly crawling towards me. Well. That salamander's going on my nerves. It's going to take away all my kills here, so... Let's freeze that salamander as well. <laughs> this is a stupid dance that we're doing here. That's okay. Boom. Boom. And killed. Good! Yeah, that was a nice one. Okay. I should get the glow sphere at some point, though, because the, uh, you know, it has like, I don't know how many, how many tiles longer the line of sight is, but it is a, it's enough that it becomes really noticeable that you can't see a lot when you're when you're just going around with night vision. I think night vision is exactly as the torches. If I remember. Alright. Kill that. Kill you. Kudzu. I'm not going to mess with. Other than that, there doesn't seem to be much here. I think there was a bunch of crap over here. Hmm, there was a glow crow that has been killed. Uh huh. A boar that gives us some meat. That's nice. And uh, yeah, again level six. Good. So freezing hands increase skill points one hundred and eighty. So we could get a bunch of short blade stuff now. Uh, shall we do that? Yeah, I think that's that's okay. Like it's going to be useful. Is that thing? Kill you. Get that. Rest up. And I'm going to end the video here. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and see you again next time. Bye bye.